Good morning, folks. We've made it back without being bear food. We're going to explain the wobbly sun images here. We'll have that special video we've mentioned for you later tonight. And we are starting today's rundown with the sun over at spaceweathernews.com. We find the last 24 hours on our star were calm in the Earth-facing position. Sizable CME left the right side of the sun from this vantage point. The southern coronal hole continues turning onto the Earth-facing disk, and these shakes and wiggles of the satellite are what we have noticed time and time again tends to happen as the Earth system crosses the heliospheric current sheet. This is the solar wind magnetic field reversal, and it can often produce geomagnetic effects, not to mention those effects on the satellite. The signature of that magnetic flip is in blue on both ACE and DISCOVER. On the left chart, but the far right side of it, those instantaneous spikes you see are common cosmic ray errors on DISCOVER. Current sheet impact precedes strong coronal holes, and this one will face Earth over the next two days. Solar wind likely arriving Sunday. Let's start the articles with the fun story from yesterday. There is no natural explanation for the amount of methane in the Enceladus plumes. Could it be a sign of existing microbial life? They think so, and indeed Enceladus has to be one of the more habitable moons of our solar system. The not-so-fun story of the sky recently involves them dimming the sun by spraying the sky, a caution here that planned or theorized efforts not only won't cut it, but they present more risk to the planet than a version of harm. Up next is the results from the high-performance lasers on ISAT, able to map not only the changing levels of ice with extreme precision, but able to map the underground lakes as well, including their fluctuations, growth, expansion, and the connected rivers. Paper number 5 million, it seems, on the pre-seismic electromagnetism. This one focuses on the atmospheric electricity and the lead-up events that come before the big quake. Those atmospheric signals, which you can learn more about at quakewatch.net, need to be monitored closely right now along with the surge of blood echoes overnight, since timing-wise the sun's interplanetary magnetic fields coming with this big coronal hole should be impacting the Earth seismically over the next two or three days. Up next, folks, two recent papers exemplifying the concept that at any one given location on Earth, some of the great events are going to show up and others are not. Here, in both this paper and the next one, the primary event that does show up is Heinrich Event 1, the one matching the Heli-Nepali mini-magnetic excursion on the half-cycle about 18,000 years ago. And this overall cycle every 6,000 years or so is super critical. It is triggered by the sun, and it is the focus of tonight's special video. Up next, doubt about snowball Earth is gone. New research shows signatures of millennial seasonality to the greatest climate event ever on Earth, which allows the chemical transport between tiny ice-free ocean patches during that extreme snowball state. Last but not least, props and spotlight to a high school teacher who just hit it out of the park. Her writing on the development of magnetoreception and Earth's tiniest members of the food chain is something that needs to be so critical in the magnetic excursion studies of biosphere effect and yet it has never once entered that famous discussion on was it human hunting or geomagnetic and climate triggers of extinction. It's not just the climate and the radiation that changes during a magnetic excursion, but the birds and whales and other creatures' navigation and the tiniest microscopic aspects of the world need to be included in this field as well. The cascading effects of a million unseen modulations during the magnetic excursion are something we can only imagine. We greatly appreciate your support. Come back tonight for that special video. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5.15 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.